In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the V9 sound card to an amplifier. In this setup, this is good for doing karaoke at your home or wherever. And also this is good for doing a live streaming. And if you want to record it, it is possible as well. Without further ado, let's get started. Connecting the V9 sound card to an amplifier is very simple. So here are the uh, cords we will be using uh, in this uh, video. So this uh, iPad here we will be using as a source of our background music or karaoke song. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to go live on Facebook or record it, you can use a separate device on that. And of course, this is our uh, our. Uh, amplifier or AM FM receiver and I only use uh, one speaker on here so it's up to you if you want to connect more more than one speaker so it's it's all up to you and of course if it's for karaoke purposes uh, two at least uh, two speaker or one should be okay but if you want it louder then I presume you should be connecting more than one speaker Okay, so this uh, cord we will connect it to this uh, condenser microphone. So let's connect it over here. And then of course the other end we will connect to uh, just select uh, capacitor 1 or 2 from this V9 sound card. Let's select uh, capacitor 2. And uh, now if you want to connect uh, your background music, let's say this one, using a cord, you can. But if you want to use it uh, using Bluetooth, you can as well. So you don't need to use uh, this cord. And by the way, this cord comes when you purchase this V9 sound card. So it's 3.5 mm uh, male and it's TRRS. So the one that has three lines uh, on it. Okay, so let's use one. Let's say we're going to connect uh, this one using this cord. So from this iPad, or if you're going to use a tablet or a phone or an Android device, uh, just select the headphone jack of, uh, of that device. So in this device, the headphone jack is over here. And then the other end, we will connect to the one that says music at the back of this uh, V9 sound card. So the one that says music. Hey. Okay. And again, if you want to record while doing it or go live, then you, you can use the other cord. Okay, so let's connect this one to the one that says, let's say, um, you just select Live 1 or Live 2. So the one that says Live 1 or Live 2, let's just um, use Live 1. And then the other end, we're going to connect uh, to this phone, let's say for recording. And again, this phone doesn't have a uh, headphone jack, so I will need this lightning audio adapter. But if your phone is, is uh, an Android device, you don't need this one. So let's connect it over there, and this is ready for recording. Okay, so now to uh, connect this one, or this V9, to this amplifier, we will need this cord. So it's an RCA, both male, to 3.5 uh, mm TRS. So again, the one that has two lines, and then the RCA. Okay, so this time we will connect this one from the earphone. Okay, and the other end, we will have to connect to the back of this uh, uh, amplifier. Okay, so this is the back uh, side of this amplifier. So as I mentioned earlier, I only connected one speaker, so the one up there. And uh, so as I mentioned, you can connect more, um, uh, more speakers. So this speaker here, so only one the speaker is being connected. So if you want to add more, then you can connect it from here or from uh, up there. So anyway, um, we'll just be using one speaker for this uh, video. And now the RCA that I showed you earlier, so this one, we will connect to one of these. So just remember where you're going uh, to connect this one because wherever you connect on here, then that is the one you have to turn on at the back. So let's say we're going to connect it to the one that says, let's say CD. Okay, so white to white and then red to red. Now coming back to the front side of this receiver or amplifier, as you recall, we connected the RCA to the back, the one that says CD. Then if that's the case, we have to make sure we, we have to turn on this one. If you connected the RCA to the one that says video, then you have to turn on this one. Or if it's tape, 
monitor at the back then you have to turn on this one so okay let's now turn on this uh, amplifier or receiver okay so again let's make sure it's turned on to CD okay there it is okay so I'm just gonna turn the volume up from here so maybe up to there okay so as you can see i have prepared my live on here so if you let's say open your facebook and uh, you wanted to go live then you can do it that way so i only selected me as the viewer so no one else can watch it so and now i've already prepared also the uh, karaoke song we will be using and for the uh, settings in your uh, v9 sound card uh, it's up to you to play around like however uh, uh, loud your uh, microphone and your music and so by the way when it comes to the background music over there so to control the background music is from here from this device also from this uh, v9 sound card so again at the volume from your background music or karaoke song you can control from this device or whatever you connected tablet or phone uh, you can control it from here or from this v9 sound card the one that says music so turn up or down so it's up to you and for the treble it's up to you how much treble you wanted to use as well as baritone and bass and wet and dry and echo so like those are just like the equalizer now just make sure all the time the record is up if you are doing live streaming or recording but if you are doing let's say a karaoke song karaoke at your home you don't need to turn this up but it's up to you I always turn it uh, like up all the time so uh, whatever I do it's already ready if I'm recording or doing a live streaming and the monitor here this is the one you will hear uh, from this is the one you will hear uh, let's say if you're going to uh, put a headphone or, or connect a headphone to this uh, uh, v9 uh, sound card okay so let's uh, now uh, give it a try okay and now as I mentioned earlier I have already turned on this uh, amplifier and uh, for the main volume is just over here so it's up to you however, however loud you wanted your uh, audio okay so from here I'm gonna start uh, my live streaming so what I will do is I am going to sync the uh, recorded live streaming so I can share also the the, uh, the audio coming out from the uh, live streaming Okay, so um, so it's already showing here CD because we connected the RCA at the back uh, from the CD input. So that's why, so we're prepared now. Okay, so let's give it a try. Let's use this condenser microphone. Sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four, sound. And by the way, the monitor volume from this V9 sound card is connected to this amplifier so it is if it is on low you will not hear it so just make sure to turn it up also but your main volume from here is going to be on here of course you put volume first from here from the v9 sound card using the monitor volume and then the main volume now from the amplifier is going to be from here okay so let's give it a sample i am going now to uh, to uh, try playing this uh, karaoke song Let's see how loud is this one. Okay, so I think that should be good. If you want your background music more louder, you can turn your volume up from this one here or the volume from this device itself. So if you want to turn it up more, so it goes like that. Okay, so something like that. Or if you want it low, then you turn it like that. Okay, I think there is still some more here. There it is. So that's that's too loud okay so let's uh, do it again okay so let's say something like that okay and by the way if you want more reverb so just uh, turn your wet and dry up and then uh, some more echo if you want okay sound check testing one two so again that should be okay and then let's uh, play again our background music or karaoke song let's do a little sample don't take each other for everything we are Or leave the life we may be and make another start Okay, so let's stop that one.
And so as you notice, it does work. And now if you want, let's say you are doing a karaoke song at your home or wherever, and at the same time you want to use the sound effects from this V9, of course you can use them as well. Let's say for example, let's try the sound effects, built-in sound effects from here. Let's try giggle. Okay, and applause. Okay, so if you want it louder, then you can control it from the volume from this amplifier. So let's uh, do it like this, okay, a slash. Okay, and then let's say awesome. Awesome! Okay, and let's say laughter. <laughs> also, if you want to use, uh, let's say, the peach pen or the peach, like to change the voice, you can do them as well. So let's say, let's uh, press this one, the one that says the peach. Soundtrack, testing one, two, and then another one. So you can use pretty much everything on here. Okay, so let's go back to KTV. And then if you want your sound to be flat, let's say, for example, you are not going to sing and you're just uh, saying something for everybody to hear, then you can click the primal sound. So something like that. So your vocal or audio will be uh, flat. Okay, so let's go back to KTV. Okay, there it is. So in this setup, you can of course use the voiceover function on here. So again, what it is, is uh, as you play the, uh, the background music, the volume of that will go down as you talk, and then when you stop, it'll go up. So let's give it a sample. Let's play this one. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the voiceover. So now that uh, the voiceover is turned on, so as you notice, I'm talking right now and then the background music uh, volume is low. And as I stop talking, okay, so there it is. So again, you can use uh, the voiceover function while you're doing uh, this one. Okay, so let's just turn this off. Okay, there it is. And now, so let's say, for example, you want to connect your background music or instrument to this V9 sound card without uh, uh, connecting it to a wire. Let's say you wanted to use the Bluetooth function. It's very easy. So let's remove this one here. And I believe it's connected to, to the one that says music on here. It's, it's on the middle. So what you do is go to your settings from your device, uh, the, wherever is the source of your karaoke song and then open the Bluetooth on here and then uh, so uh, the name of this one the name of this uh, V9 sound card is FRJ speaker the one up there so now to turn it on for them to be connected I have to tap this one here this uh, the Bluetooth icon so tap that one and then now it's connected. Blinking. okay now it's connected it says so it means whatever will play on here it picks up also it's connected also to this uh, a V9 sound card. So let's play it again. Now this is now using the Bluetooth. Not we're not to connecting a wire anymore. So let's play it again. Let's give it just a little sample. Okay. So as you notice, it is uh, again uh, connected uh, using the instrument. The instrument is still there. So it's just nice if you use uh, the Bluetooth functions without a wire. So uh, less wire to connect to the V9 sound card and maybe you can use it for something else instead. So that's how simple it is to connect the V9 sound card to an amplifier. Thanks again guys for watching. If you like this type of video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.